The engineer's case is one of the most important High Court decisions ever made. It's a very significant constitutional law case. However, we're looking at the case for its significance for statutory interpretation. The Amalgamated Society of Engineers was a union organisation. The Commonwealth had introduced laws governing industrial relations and the resolution of disputes between employers and employees. However, many of the members of the Amalgamated Society of Engineers worked for state government authorities. So the question before the court was whether the Commonwealth Government was allowed to make industrial relations rules which would bind the states, or could they only make those rules for private employers? Previously, there had been a doctrine called the Doctrine of Implied Immunities, which said that the Constitution was not based on the idea of one level of government being superior to another. So the Constitution had to be read as far as possible in a way that didn't allow the Commonwealth to rule over the states. In this case, however, the court was invited to review whether there really was a doctrine of implied immunities. Nothing in the Constitution, not a word in the Constitution, actually said that such a doctrine existed. Should it be implied? Justice Higgins focused on the actual words of the Constitution. He was guided by what is known as the literal interpretation rule of statutory interpretation. This is a pretty simple rule, really. It says that statutes and constitutions were written down in words, and so those words need to be the starting point, not a bunch of unwritten doctrines. He said, The fundamental rule of interpretation, to which all others are subordinate, is that a statute is to be expounded according to the intent of the parliament that made it. And that intention has to be found by an examination of the language used in the statute as a whole. The question is, what does the language mean? And when we find what the language means in its ordinary and natural sense, it is our duty to obey that meaning, even if we think the result to be inconvenient or impolitic or improbable. The court found that there was no doctrine of implied immunities and changed the nature of federalism in Australia forever. However, Justice Higgins' famous statement sets out the principles for the literal approach to statutory interpretation. Read the words. The words are the law.